It is a matter of fact that we are a short milestone away from going into space. SpaceX has carried Starship's first orbital class super heavy rocket from its Starbase manufacturing to the launch pad for the second time in five weeks. Ahead of a demanding and varied test campaign. Today we are talking about updates from SpaceX. Before we proceed, a big hello to everyone across the globe. If you are new to our channel, we warmly welcome you and we are so glad to have you on board. Make sure to check our other videos from the SpaceX updates. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated from the very latest. SpaceX's Starship program, which features the world's largest and most powerful rocket, will one day land people and goods on Mars. The most recent prototype, SN20, is awaiting launch into orbit. Several more prototypes have flown, ground tested and even made testing mistakes in an effort to better future flights. Here is an overview of the latest developments in Starship's journey to Mars. Elon Musk, the entrepreneur, founded SpaceX in the year 2002 after selling two previous businesses. The software service internet company Zip2 and the online payment provider PayPal. His long-term ambition was to establish a Mars settlement company. However, SpaceX has been very busy in other areas of space. The business has developed Dragon cargo ships and Crew Dragon astronaut spaceships for the International Space Station, as well as launch satellites for a variety of customers using the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Starting off with key design change. Initially, Musk intended to build Starship out of carbon fiber, but in January 2019, he stated that the craft would be built out of stainless steel instead. According to Space.com, while stainless steel is heavier than carbon fiber, which increases the amount of fuel required for launch and hence the cost, Musk claims that stainless steel has better thermal qualities for spaceflight and reduces the cost in the long term. Musk later stated that changing the design was the best decision he made for the whole project. According to Space.com, Musk disclosed an unexpected design tweak to Starship in 2021 after viewing Sasha Baron Cohen's 2012 film The Dictator, which prompted him to make the vehicle pointier. Round is not a frightening shape. Pointy is frightening, Cohen's fictional character Admiral General Aladdin said of a mission designed by his engineers. Recently, SpaceX deployed 29 Raptors on Booster 4 for the second time in less than two weeks. This time though, after completing qualification testing at SpaceX's Central Texas Research Facility, all of those engines are expected to be ready for launch. Surprisingly, each of Super Heavy's outer rings, 20 Raptor Boost engines, is scheduled to have its own little umbilical panel connecting to the orbital launch pad. Most of the individual engine couplings have still yet to be fitted when Booster 4 was out on the brand new suborbital launch platform. It is unclear whether SpaceX was able to test the complicated system before Super Heavy returned to the assembly site. That testing will be part of a much larger testing campaign, specifically if SpaceX intends to test Super Heavy Booster 4 at the orbital launch site. Any booster testing will necessitate the shakedown of the orbital pad's massive, custom-built tank farm, as well as a wide range of other ground equipment. Qualification for Booster 4 is no less difficult, given no Super Heavy has ever been fully tested. Although Super Heavy Booster 3 passed a partial cryogenic proof test and a static fire test with three Raptor engines. SpaceX has never fully fueled a Super Heavy with more than 3,000 tons of propellant or static fired more than three Raptor engines at the same time. Before trying flights, the Starship program tested many ground prototypes. Mach 1 destroyed during a tank pressure test. Mach 2, Mach 3 slash SN1 destroyed during a pressurization test. SN2 pressure tested successfully. SN3 destroyed during a pressure tank test, and SN4, destroyed during a static fire test, were among the key prototypes destroyed between 2019 and 2020. The SN5 and SN6 prototypes of Starship flew low-altitude test hops. On August 4, 2020, 
SN5 reached an altitude of around 500 feet and traveled sideways in the sky to its landing place. On September 3rd, 2020, SN6 flew 500 feet. Turns out you can make anything fly, haha, Musk said of the SN6 flight. SpaceX purposefully destroyed SN7 during a ground test in order to collect data for future missions. During the program's first high altitude launch, SN8, which soared into the skies on December 23, 2020, performed sophisticated flying maneuvers and flips. According to a video filmed from the landing pad, it flew 7.8 miles but failed to make the landing, exploding in a flame on the ground due to lower than expected pressure in the fuel tank header. On August 6, 2021, SpaceX's newest Starship prototype briefly stood atop the Super Heavy rocket booster for the first time, making it the tallest rocket ever built. Musk described the stacked Starship as a dream come true on Twitter. The Boca Chica stacking test involved mating the two vehicles for an hour, with the combined Starship system towering 395 feet tall. In comparison, NASA's huge Saturn V moon rocket, which was used for the Apollo missions, stood just 363 feet tall. The Super Heavy stands 230 feet on its own, while Starship SN20 adds another 165 feet of height. In August, the two vehicles will be subjected to a slew of technical tests in preparation for an orbital mission. As Starship awaits its opportunity to do an orbital flight test, Regulation remains a major unknown. According to Space.com, if all goes as planned, the spaceship will make a round-the-world journey and splash down off the coast of Hawaii after 90 minutes. While the first stage of the Super Heavy rocket will return to Earth six minutes after launch in the Gulf of Mexico. The FAA, on the other hand, has conducted an environmental evaluation of the Starship's mission delaying SpaceX's intentions to attempt the voyage in July 2021. Even after the examination is completed, there may be further certificates to consider. As Starship awaits its opportunity to do an orbital flight test, regulation remains a major concern. These were the latest updates from the space industry. With all of this, we have come to the end of our video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We appreciate your love and support for our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys. Cheers.